Hey guys, uh, I'm Scott and uh, this is my channel on YouTube, Escape Art by Scott. Here to do another video for you today. And if uh, you're coming back and seeing me, I appreciate you. And if you're now just seeing me, I hope you come back as well. So let, let's get right to it. Um, this is a, a 16 by 20 uh, canvas. And the way I paint, guys, uh, that uh, you don't need no four year degree uh, in college. No, you don't need no college degree in geometry and in physics and then learn how to paint. Uh, this is the way I paint and it's a very easy way to paint. So, um, like always, uh, again, the 60 by 20 canvas, I'm going to go ahead and paint the top part uh, just a little uh, light coat of white paint so my sky can blend in easier. And I'm going to shut off that camera and I'll be right back. Alright, got that painted. Now I got me some sky blue color and I'm just going to go paint the whole sky up here. See how slick that goes on? Well, you know, with that, uh, that white paint and a little mist, you know, you know, put a little mist up here also. Uh, it just wouldn't go on this smooth. Alright, let me get some more. All right, a little more mist right up in here. Very little. There. All right, I want to cut the camera off and then clean my brush, and I'll be right back. My next step, I'll be using some uh, thalo blue. This is going to be a little different uh, color. Uh, sky here to what I normally do so come on back I'll be right back oh, like I said I got some thalo blue and then just come right up in here and start making me in some clouds straight a thalo blue some big old clouds here there's one there let's come over here then another one. But don't cover up all that light blue. That light blue is important also. So leave some areas. Maybe another one right up in here, wherever. Wherever. All right, you guys got the idea, right? So I'm going to cut off the camera and I'll be right back. Now I got that in without wasting too much time. I'm going to go ahead and mist that down. While it's still a little wet, I'm going to come right up in here with just a little white paint. Blend that in. Something like that. Just one more way of doing clouds. All right, I'm going to step back and see what I got, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm going to put in here just a ridge of mountains right through here. Got my sky all done. Okay, so I'm gonna come back in there, put a ridge in, ridge of mountains. Well, what I did was mix me up some black and brown, and I'm using I got two palette knives, one a big one, one a smaller one. And I'm gonna use a smaller one first, 
because I, I want to, uh, I'll, I'll show you better what I can take. See, I'm just going to come right here and put a little ridge of mountains in. Right here, and right here. And I don't want these ridges to get too, so too big on me. So I want to come down that far and just come straight down. There. Something like that. Alright, now I'm going to go and switch over to my bigger knife. I want these to be a little higher up and, and to come down a little further. So, also put a little mist so this paint will slide on a little easier for me. There. Give me another little thing there, a ridge. on this other side now and that's all I'm going to do guys and so I'm going to go ahead and cut the camera off and I'll be right back all right I got my ridge in here now I'm going to come down bring it down a little bit more and this is how you do that you put a little water on it and you just bring it down how far you want it to come down leave that one up a little further back bring this one down See, mixing that with that black and brown, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting a little different colors through here. Uh, of course, you know, brown and black. It is ain't just one solid color. There. See, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a little metal right back in here. And I want it to look like it's going deep into the, uh, into the mountain, okay? And that's the way you do it. Have a little... Uh, air right up here and bring the rest down down the canvas and it'll give you that illusion that it's you know you got some distance back here alright alright be right back alright this is still a little bit too wet so I'm going to come right in here while it's drying I want to put me in just a little bit of a little metal a little grassy area back here something like this sap green and yellow. Now I try not to over mix when I'm mixing that up. Got some more just plain sap green. I'm going to put it on this right here. There. Now I'm getting close to the bottom here where the grass is going to have more detail. So I'm going to go ahead and put some more detail in that and I'll be right back. I just made me have some black and some brown. I put a little sap green in there. I just need this area just a little dark. If 
you want, you can put a little heel right here, whatever, whatever. And this one coming up here. show you how you can paint a mountain look just as good as a snow cat type mountain but just with rock color with your browns and your grays and all that so uh, come on back all right guys I got me some paint I just mix up so rock color brown white black mixed together get some gray blame play <laughs> black and white to make some gray and we're gonna come right up in here just let it touch it and come down. Look at that. I mean, look at all the detail that I uh, just just by doing that. You know, some people take two or three days to do that. I don't understand. Tremendous little detail right through here. So nice how that thing works. It's almost. If you do it right, it's almost you can feel the paint being pulled off your knife here. Come right up in here. Boom. Come right on down. Let it break. I mean, let some of this, the base color, show through, okay? I'm going to come over here and I'm going to give you some of this gray color. I'm going to come right up in here. Well, I'll save that. change over to my small palette knife get in these little bitty areas right through here mm -hmm. back here where it's really small Get really small. These pattern knives will have little flat edges to them. Just small, little flat edges, and you can get here right in these little cracks. There. Back in here. This color here. And then... I think you guys get the idea, so uh, work on that if you are following along. Now, if you're just not starting out, it's going to take you some time, practice, to get this breaking action uh, down pat. I don't know how many paintings I've gone through practicing, and I still ain't got it right. I don't, you know, I'm just scratching. I've been painting now, what, 14 years now, and I haven't even began to paint, really. This is just a little hobby of mine that I picked up. And uh, I kind of like it, so. Uh, but it, it's taken me years, you know, to get where I'm at now. So, but give yourself a chance, okay? And I'll be right back. I think I'm done with my mountain here, so I'm gonna come back and just put in a big, kind of like a big boulder right here. Old one liner brush here and I come back in. I want to put in some trees way back here. All 
right in front of that rock I just put in that big boulder. How's that look? I'm going to step back and take a look myself. Be right back. I'm going to put some grass area right through here. And I got this dark color right through here. Now I'm just going to tap. And this is how you can get um, your uh, detail in your grass. This is it. This, you know, just by tapping. really close to you, now you can see more detail. And am I doing anything hard or anything that you guys can't do? You guys can do this. Don't cover up all your black. I need some of your black there, okay? Now, my idea when I first started, I was going to put some big trees right here. But you know what? This mountain looks so good to me that I don't want to cover that up. So I'm going to have me some smaller trees. And it will still have the same effect, I hope. So uh, we're almost done. We'll be right back. All right. I'm going to have me some, just some sap green. I'm going to put me in a tree right here. Right about there. Over here, put another one in. Like 
some highlight now. Right up here. And just drop them in. the other side now. Now I grab my old filter brush, one side dark, the other side a lighter color. This is the, uh, how do you say it, uh, double loading your brush. So you just come up here and make your little tree trunk. You can make as many tree trunks as you want. There's no telling how many trees are actually back here. There. All right. Be right back. Now I got me uh, a bigger. Uh, brush here, a bigger uh, filbert, because I want to put some stones right through here. Again, double loading the brush, but with the highlight facing up, of course. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to drop me in some few little stones. Way back here. Alright. Big one right here. Get a big one now. I don't understand why more, more people ain't doing that. I don't know how many times I've seen people, uh, they'll paint a stone with one color and then come back with a highlight and paint the top of it. Just use, just double load it. One side lighter than the other. One side light, one side dark. That'll take care of that. 
But, uh, you know, again, that's on them. They, they do what they want to do. Or highlight right here. There. Almost done, guys. Almost done. All right, guys. The old camera saying it's quick time. I'm gonna call this one finished. I uh, hope you guys come back and see me. Uh, I really hope you like this one. Yeah, you got some entertainment out of it. But uh, you know, uh, send me a little message. You know, do you want me to paint more and talk less? I imagine that's the case. You know, I know, I know a lot of people on YouTube that were when they're painting. Uh, they ain't saying nothing, it's just music in the background, all you see is her hand, you know, so, um, well, let me know if you wanted me to do that, more of that, you know, less talking and just painting, so, uh, again, you know, you can come back to see me, and until next time, guys, take care of yourselves.